Question number three. Which of the following are risk factors in developing Alzheimer's disease? Select all that apply. A, family history of Alzheimer's disease, B, male gender, C, previous head injury, D, untreated high blood pressure, E, high levels of folic acid, or F, hormone therapy. This type of NCLEX question, selects all that apply, probably causes the nursing students the most stress. Take your time in reviewing the choices and be sure to read each choice carefully, eliminating the ones that would not apply. Risk factors associated with Alzheimer's disease might include family history, having Alzheimer's disease in the family is associated with higher risk of Alzheimer's and is the second biggest risk factor after age. Being female is a greater risk than being male. A greater number of ladies more than men are influenced with the disease. Females are also more prone to having low levels of folic acid, which is also a risk factor. A history of head injury and untreated hypertension could cause brain damage and make the person more prone towards developing Alzheimer's disease. In 2013, researchers proved a link between hypertension and Alzheimer's. They found that older people with high blood pressure were more likely to have biomarkers of the disease in their spinal fluid. Research is also showing that certain types of head injuries might increase the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease or other dementia later in life. So the correct choices here would be A, C, D, and F. Stay tuned guys, because in the next video, we're going to go over another nursing exam or NCLEX style question related to Alzheimer's. See you guys in a bit. Love you.